Hey everybody, it's Chris Pond from the Gear House here again, and uh, today for today's video, I'm going to do a quick run through of um, what I would call some essentials to have in any kind of fire starting kit. Um, it's always important to have some kind of fire starting items with you, um, whether that's just a lighter, matches, uh, flint steel, um, you know, twigs, any kind of emergency tinder. Um, whatever it might be, it's important to have something with you for sure. So I've kind of gone ahead and put together this fire starting kit um, that I've been starting to carry with me um, on day trips and especially overnight trips so that we can get a, get a fire started for either warmth or cooking or uh, just kind of hanging around and, and chilling out with the friends that are going on the trip with me. So to start off, I've got um, a GSI Outdoors Lexan box. Uh, it's a gear box. This is, uh, I think, the smaller, extra small which we sell at the gear house and um, this is a waterproof uh, crush proof um, utility box it's made of uh, virtually unbreakable Lexan um, and it does have dual lash points on it which are kind of neat I don't know if you guys can see these or not but it's uh, big enough to fit um, you know tubular webbing through or uh, probably a three millimeter cord um, we're gonna open it up and it is a tight fit it's very snug which is great. Um, you definitely want to keep out the water. Uh, to start things off, I've got my light my fire fire steel right inside. Always carry it with me. Um, these guys, which are broken up and uh, also kind of shaved in here a little bit, are the light my fire Maya sticks, which we sell at the gear house. Um, you get this huge pack. There's probably at least 10 or 12 uh, long sticks in here. These are probably six to eight inches each, and um, you know, one stick like this will probably last you a while. This is one stick just broken up into three pieces. Um, like I said, it's always important to have some kind of fire starter. So besides my fire steel, I always want to carry some kind of matches with me. Um, I didn't have a lighter to throw in here at this point, but uh, I would obviously have a lighter in here too. Um, I do have some dry kindling, just some small sticks, twigs that are broken up in a bag. Um, got some twine to use as a fire starter. If you unravel it and uh, just kind of bunch it up in a ball, it'll flare right up with, uh, you know, one good spark from your fire steel. And then um, it's kind of the same thing with some cotton balls. Just uh, pull it out like so. Give it a lot of surface area for the sparks to hit, and this will light up real quick. So make sure you've got your, uh, your, t your kindling and tinder on it ready to go. And then um, last item I've got here is the Light My Fire Maya Dust. In uh, its little container here, you can see this. This is uh, basically the same kind of stuff that the Maya sticks are made out of. Um, it's a resin coated uh, material. This will very easily light up. We did a video on it uh, once before uh, showing how well it lit up with just a lighter. So here's uh, my kind of fire starting kit, as you would call it. And uh, leave some comments. I'd love to hear what you guys would include. Uh, what you might add and what you might take out. Stay tuned for some more videos.